Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Artifact Spotlight. My name is Casey, and I'm the Curator and Collections Specialist here at the Maybe Regional Heritage Center. Today, I would like to show you another unique piece from our collections. This beautiful early 20th century compound microscope was made by the Bosch & Lomb Optical Company in Rochester, New York. The company's journey began in 1853, initially focusing on eyeglass frames. By 1875, they ventured into creating their first compound microscope, eventually expanding their expertise to cover microscopes of various styles and applications. The scope of their innovations didn't end there. They continued to make advancements in eyeglasses, contact lenses, and even played a part in capturing some of the earliest images of the moon by producing specially crafted lenses. This year, the Bosch & Lomb Company celebrates 170 years of service and innovation. Taking a closer look at the microscope, there are a few interesting features to point out. The first is the dual ocular or binocular design, which is intended to help prevent eye strain during long periods of use. The eyepieces you see here can be removed and swapped out for others of different strengths. Another unique feature that makes this microscope a little different from more modern ones is that the ocular portion raises and lowers, as opposed to the stage moving, like more modern designs. Finally, this microscope is not powered, which means it does not have an internal light source to aid in viewing specimens. Instead, at the bottom, you will notice there is a circular mirror that reflects external light up. The angle of the mirror can be adjusted, as well as the condenser can be raised and lowered to change the intensity of the light. There is also a lever on the condenser that can be adjusted to allow all or none of the light reflected to come through. As we conclude the artifact spotlight, it is worth noting the carrying case designed for the microscope. Crafted from sturdy, solid wood, this case boasts two sliding racks at the top, purposefully designed to accommodate extra lenses. The microscope fits snugly within, ensuring a secure placement while the locking mechanism guarantees safe and hassle-free transportation. That concludes this week's Artifact Spotlight. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to visit the Maybe Regional Heritage Center for more interesting artifacts and exhibits. Keep an eye out for future spotlights, and be sure to check out our past features, too. Thank you for joining me, and we hope to see you soon.